Oh, Pawn. In another life, we may have been allies, but instead, you put us at odds. So I have no choice but to use darkness to rip, shred, and tear through every single one of your kind. We won't let you. Yeah, you can try. So far, uh, we've been kind of single-handedly, minus the one time we got help. Single-handedly kicking ass. Can I just fast travel to where I need to go? Hell yeah, okay. Hey guys, welcome back. You know me, kid. I've been getting ready for the end since the day I was born. Then Stranger here came around preaching the same thing. You ever get antsy when people tell you exactly what you want to hear? <laughs> yeah. No one's making you stay. Yeah, yeah. I'm just gabbing. Ship stealer. Not the first to unite the houses, though. I dare say she's got the farthest. Still, she won't be the last. Oh, is that spider? That's fun. Too bad he's about to disappear, too. I've written to Zavala and Ikora to convince them of our cause. They're wary, of course. But I believe we can pry open even their closed off minds. We must, if we're to stand a chance against what's to come. Osiris has done much to pave our way. Many do not reject his ideas as they once did. I sent a message to him as well. Though I doubt he read it. I'd rather not contemplate as to why. <laughs> Alright, well how are you doing here, Exo? Sorry, Darkness stranger. is a parasite. It burrows its way into your soul and feeds on your most selfish desires. Your every wish, tainted and twisted, as you become the very thing darkness wants you to be. In that world, there is no future for any of us. I... have witnessed this firsthand. I refuse to let it happen again. So know this as you step away from the light once more. Inside us all is the strength to control darkness. We need only look inward and remember why we're here. We are humanity's final salvation. Yeah, don't worry, I... I think most guardians are pretty good on that front. The stranger seems pleased as you hand her the splinter you retrieved from Praxis. You've made progress in dismantling Aramis's Dark Council and shown that, so far, you have a good hand on resisting the temptations of the darkness. But the journey's not over yet. In order to wield stasis against the Kell of Darkness, you must achieve perfect control of the power flowing within you. The Exo Stranger has seen what happens to guardians who lack this discipline, but refuses to explain herself just yet. She hands you back your splinter, now enhanced by Praxis's. You're ready for the next stage of stasis. Tune your enhanced splinter of darkness at the Ziggurat and beyond. Ugh, alright. Oh, you got it, guys. I'm going to the big old Ziggurat. Our temple of darkness. The next crux of darkness in the Rees Reborn approach. All right. What was that? <laughs> I just cut off the screen by accident. Oh well. I never imagined you'd be wielding darkness. Maybe once we defeat Aramis, you won't need to anymore. All right. Looks like there's no fast travel point up there. Fine. I'll go on Sparrow. 
Ooh, look at that shot of Jupiter. Holy people. Everyone is here to see Varix for some reason. Maybe just bounties and stuff. I have no idea what the, the mid to end game grind is like in Destiny 2 at this time. I'll have to Google it once I've actually completed the campaign. This will also help me have an idea of like what's there to do for the end game of the Witch Queen. Especially as we continue to lose certain locations. going on with that shit. Yeah. Hello, big guy. I don't think I'm dealing with you. Sending another wide range. No, 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 another foundational pillar of our beautiful society has been knocked down. Praxis, dear friend, your death at the hands of those puppets will not go unavenged. Soon they will answer for what they've done. I will see to it myself. Rise now, my fellow Elixni. Do not let this scum take more of our sisters, brothers, fathers, and mothers. <laughs> we are the future of our kind, and we will destroy all who threaten us. Leave go pawn alive. Wait, so we do we been a murdering of a lot of people? It's for the usual good. Usually good. Well, at least I don't have to worry about any morals with the Vex. Or just fucky walky machines. Fucky walky time machines. That way, or yes, that way. Can't wait until the Vex gets some personality. They had personality. They, they had. I'm pretty sure it's been a long ass time since Curse of Osiris. But didn't the main Vex baddie at the end of the campaign talk? Or did it just roar? I don't remember. That's not something I can kill. No, it didn't talk. Damn.
felt like I had a distinct memory of, of a Vex Warmind, or not Warmind, but like a Vex boss taunting us a little bit. But I guess I'm just thinking of Reapers from Mass Effect or something. Remind cannot comprehend. Simple basic information. Here comes the stasis. Excuse me, I'd like to set up a chain reaction, thank you. These goddamn servitors! Careful, Guardian. This is stasis at its most powerful. I won't lie. It scares me. I just don't want to see it turn on you. Its grasp is sinister. I mean, again, it's just kind of all right. What is this? Oh, teleporter. Ooh. Well, I actually want to go to... The helm real quick because we got a couple of engrams that need uh to get transformed before they're worthless. Wee <laughs> I'm happy to see that bug still there, jeez. Supposed to be an umbrella in Graham's tutorial, but I don't see it. Yeah, it's just kind of there for me. Or how does this work? Ah, oh, really? Fine. Hello, what? The Icolo shotgun? Bro, what? Uh, 
Oh, wow. All right. I didn't know that was, uh... I guess that's why they have the mod. For Ikelos weapons. She can get them through other means. What is this? Let me... How do I navigate around here? Back here? Here we go. What is up with the Servitor? Decrypted data increases your rank with a Splice Servitor. Earn it by completing seasonal activities and challenges in the season of the Splicer. Alright. It's weird that it was highlighted even though it doesn't have anything for me. Complete bounties from this vendor to earn powerful rewards. Weekly complete bounties from the Wayfinder's Compass. I'll go check it out. Quest Archive. Complete the Garden Rises. Your life as a garden has begun. Aided by your ghost, you must escape the Cosmodrome and find a way to the last city. Oh, that's fun. See, this is where you can at least play that quest. Hmm. All right. One of the dreaming city city rocks or whatever. Wayfinder's compass. What do we got for here? Defeat targets with solar abilities. Defeat targets with hand cannons. Defeat rank and file combatants. Defeat combatants in the, in the dreaming city. Okay, we'll get this one. This one. Probably not getting that one anytime soon. What is the Age of Scepter? That sounds cool. Queen Mara summons you. Travel to the helm to speak with her. Oh, she's on here. Requires completion of tracing the stars one, two, and three. Oh my Jesus. All right, well, that's a whole lot of stuff to, to figure out at some point. Back to Europa. All right, do I have any good primary things? Because I could swap to doing, uh, I could level up a little bit, but I don't think there's a point really. They have graciously made most of the campaign seem to be at like a certain level, minus like that one area with the Vex walking at us at a slightly higher level than before. Aramis wished to return the Elixni to greatness. Varix wished to follow her, but her anger has made her blind. Whoops, what the fuck? Oh my god. Varix see. Oh, Jesus. Fucking accidentally pressed the screenshot button and it minimized my game. Aramis cannot save the Elixni, and we cannot save Aramis. We must help the Elixni who wish to flee Aramis. We must give them the second chance she promised. And then the way will be clear for you to end her reign. Hmm. Varix looks somber. When he witnessed Aramis releasing the Vex, he realized that she has truly lost sight of what she was fighting for. 
Now she has endangered everything the Elixir had built on Europa. As the Vex make their way across Europa towards Reese Reborn, Varric is planning to help some of his allies evacuate the city. They are carrying an important asset that he claims will be invaluable to House Light on Earth. He asks for your help defending them, and then the way will be clear for you to confront Aramis. Help Varric evacuate the allied fallen Eventide Duverns. Ooh, nice. What is this? It's time to eliminate Aramis, but first, Varix has asked for your help. His allies are planning to flee Europe, or Europa to escape Aramis, and the skiff set to evacuate is carrying an important fallen asset. Sworn to secrecy by his allies, Varix will provide you no details, but he believes the asset will be crucial to the success of the on Earth. The skiff must escape Europa safely. Alright. Where is this? Um, no, All the way back up there. Okay. Has Varix misjudged the darkness? Hmm. We are these two now that we have a rocket launcher at eleven ninety three. Dual loader? Two shells at a time, but reduces reload speed. Yeah. Shadow Onyx Dragon! It's not our name, but it just means that everybody he plays with are gonna call him Shadow. Yay, Shadow. And that, oh, that's so, I wouldn't be able to bear it. It's so edgy. Loadout should be Huckleberry, Ikela Shoddy, Purple Rocket Launcher. Eh. Oh, the Huckleberry is not what I thought it was. Sure, you know what? We'll change it up a little bit. Why the fuck do I have two huckleberries? Mmm, outbreak perfected. Oh. I might equip that at some point. That's always that's always satisfying too. That ship's still there. It's frozen in time. Uh hi, excuse me, I was just practicing. I see. That is an intriguing level for that thing to be at. Why the fuck is that there? Yeah. Uh.
Wait. No, it's over here. Okay. Emitter code, disengage emitter. All right, now where? Over there. They were dropping off new enemies. Skiff? Oh, all right, cool. My friend, thank you. Soon the elixni who still know hope will flee to safety. Mizrax, the light kel, awaits them. For a kel, he is young, untested. But my people dare to hope. Yes, I see now that you wield this dark power more wisely than Erebus. Perhaps the corruption did not stem from darkness, but from anger. So it's, it's probably all both. this lesson to Erebus. I kind of want to use... Outbreak perfected. I just want to slap things down. Especially if this is going to be, you know, against the boss. Might need to focus fire for a little bit. The more elixir that escape, the better I feel. They deserve safety. Away from Aramis. A victory, yes, but more remain. And when I find them, they'll all die. Good riddance to traitors like you. Unworthy of my empire. Aramis, it was never meant to be an empire. It was meant to be home. Oh. Oh. Our home was taken from us by your once great machine. There is no home for us while it still lives. I mean, you could probably figure something out. You've come to a solar system with a lot of places, uh... That are habitable. A ridiculously large amount of habitable places. Had you asked kindly, we would've given you- I don't know, you could be like, Oh, well, no, I guess we can't give you Mercury. Shit was yoinked. Always do. I 
From the moment the once great machine abandoned us, what had to be done? I was the only one who had the strength to do it. So forgive me, traitor, but the friend you thought you had, she never existed at all. Oh, well, that's a shame, because it's uh, that was the only thing that could get you to survive, I guess. DPS my... Huh. I mean, obviously it shreds the small guys. Oh, That sucks. Get shielded up, friend. Reload this rocket. Yeah, fuck it. You guys get a rocket too. Oh. Is such a that is a fucking raid boss level stomp. Oh my god. That was huge. I think you're One insane, I just think you're when your an antagonist. Falls and your people die when your traveler abandons you. And don't worry, if the, ba if the traveler tries to abandon us, it'll get shot down again. Refining Snixus, you're not Aramis.
Rasputin surprisingly didn't shoot down the Traveler. Retcon, of course. Ah. Uh, see, that's sad. Because it's funny for me to think. About Varix, about Rasputin just slapping the Traveler down. For a second chance. For the right thing. That is strength, not weakness. Yeah, you tell him, Varix. Please, Varix. You only came here to hide. Like a coward. No! Releasing Vex put Elixni lives in danger. Many have already perished. Baroness, oh. you are the real coward! Silence! I've had enough of you, Varys. I will enjoy watching your skull shatter into pieces. Burn, Randall's burn. Yeah, keep talking to her, Varix. You're getting under her skin. Oh, excuse me. Have to reload. All right. There she is. Well, not confident enough in your own skills. Gotta send the ads to do your work. Fine, I mean, I kind of half use it whenever it shows up, so like, they can keep being like that. Ooh, excuse me. You do not understand this power. You don't understand how powerful the Iclo shotgun used to be. That was the good times. Healing rift. Yeah, no, I've been given this threat a lot of times, but like, not even, you know, like, especially when you deal with the hive, it's just kind of like a given. And so you get some of the ones that talk. Then you have to be like, oh no, you're coming to kill my people. Really a phase shift? Your chains are showing. All that power wasted serving false gods. Ha! Allow me to help you break free. Ghost. This is I I can't. I'm sorry. Ha! Ghost! Look what I've done for you. No more light. No more dark. Or so you think. Focus your power. How interesting. I don't need your toys to control the, the darkness. The thing we have to break here is you. Come yeah, what he on. said. Show me what freedom has given you. And then do we just get a fight where we get to blast stasis like a whole bunch at her? Like the other boss fights? Yeah. 
Ooh, but we get to go outside now. Let's rumble. Come to me, Paul. I tear the darkness out from inside. Greeting, servitors. Meet your end. For my staff brings darkness and death to destruction, the end of all time. How dare you get it on me? You did this to yourself, ma'am. I would never have gotten the dark despair. Or at least specifically stasis. Without your help. Oh, I got robbed. I got robbed. What the fuck? How do I get frozen when I'm in stasis too? What the fuck? Okay. Doing that? All right. It will not end this way. It can't. What? <gasps> I freed you from your chains. Your chains of life. <laughs> Are we just gonna leave her there? Feels like a misstep to just leave her ass there. We should blow her up with a rocket. Maybe five. Maybe a hundred. Just really shatter the pieces. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ah. Yeah, I ain't walking all the way back there for that. Or sparrowing, we're just fast traveling. Alright, well, once again, we've stopped the next big threat. How do you guys feel about it? That power looks good on you, kid. Real snappy. When the world goes to hell, folks like you and me just keep on going. Still gotta work. Still gotta get paid. Bring those fancy new powers through Gambit sometime, huh? Uh, maybe next season, man. You see now, darkness resides within, beckoning you, as it has many others, across lifetimes, timelines. Beyond ours lies another world, one pervaded by darkness, where guardians abandoned their light at the call of temptation. In that world, you were no exception. Ouch. But here, in this world, 
Light and dark swell within you, side by side, giving you strength. Remember that when you step onto the ziggurat once more. You're there for one reason and one alone. To fully harness the darkness within you. It's time now. They're expecting you. Yeah, I still need to be able to find a way to, like, have all these powers at once. I want to be like a MMO superhero where you actually have, like, eight to ten abilities you're crazy with. The Exo Stranger is thrilled. Your progress with Stasis marks a new milestone for her. In order to understand why, you must know what happened in her original timeline, one in which the darkness corrupted all but a few guardians. When this ushered in a second collapse, the Exo Stranger thought all hope was lost. But looking at you now, she finds hope once again. Hope in a future in which the darkness within us all can be accepted, controlled, and embraced. A future in which balance and truth can prevail for the good of humanity. Well, that's fucking ironic. From her. Truth from her? Okay. To take one more step towards this future, the stranger asks you to approach the ziggurat once more and embrace the darkness within. A two-year splinter of darkness with the final stasis sealed in the ziggurat beyond. Okay. Darkness! I have come once again to, um, a tomb, I guess. Oh, God, we're in the ship! I just want you to know I'm here with you, through light or dark. We're partners. Always. Thanks, Ghost. I wish we could get you a name, but, you know, you have to be a generic ghost for everybody, so, like, I uh, mean, little light it is. Hey, what's up? It's been a while. Uh. Oh, boy. Embrace the darkness within. Yeah, sure! Oh. You've acquired the stasis subclass. I'll be a character screen to see more. Cool beans. Embrace the power within and unleash it upon the physical world. Healing rift. I think balance glide works out the best. Glacier Grenade. Aspects. Aspects modify your subclass with new actions for your guardian to bring to combat. Ice Flare Bolts. Bleak Weather. Frost Bolts. Glacial Harvest. Freezing targets create stasis shards around the frozen targets. Higher tier combats create more shards. Shattering a frozen target spawn seekers that track and freeze other targets. Press an order grenade button to convert your grenade into a stasis turret that fires slowing projectiles at nearby targets. Casting a rift generates a shockwave that freezes nearby combatants. Okay, these two sound fun. Interesting. Did it! Anyone want to talk to me? Oh, Eris. You're far from true master, but your progress with stasis marks a step forward for our cause. Hopefully, your example will encourage others to explore this path. The Vanguard view us three with suspicion. But you, you they trust. Show them it is not misplaced. 
demonstrate how the darkness can be used for good, just as the light has been for evil. This is only the beginning, Guardian. We have much more yet to uncover. Yeah. No, it, it's it's funny how it works out that we that we call the power light and dark. Really, just silly naming conventions. You have taken control of the darkness within and sent Aramis to her end. It's time the truth presented itself to you. Yeah, you're gonna tell me something. I mentioned before, another timeline, my own. There, Aramis lived. And the temptation of darkness thrived. Mm. It pervaded the minds of the good and preyed on their desires, bringing about a new dark age. I feared these events unavoidable. And though I still do, you've given me cause to hope again. Our fight is far from over. We must prevent that dark future no matter what. Thanks to you. I stare no longer at a familiar end. Only a promising new beginning. Alright. That wasn't really a lot, but okay. The time has come for the next stranger to reveal to you her secret. In another timeline, her original timeline, she failed to stop the darkness from manipulating guardians and bringing about a second collapse. Since then, she's been carried through time, trying again and again to prevent that dark future. Looking at you now, she finally sees a future in which she might su uh, succeed. She thanks you, then reminds you that the fight has only just begun. More Guardians must take this path towards Stasis. She'll be here to guide those that do. Keep up the fight against House Salvation and all other enemies of the Traveler. And don't forget, you have an ally in the Exo Stranger. Return here to learn more about her past and any other secrets that may help you on your journey. Cool. Oh, hey, look at this. The no time to explain. This might look familiar, I know, but it is in fact not one you've seen before. During the Golden Age, Clovis performed many experiments. When it came to experimenting with the Vex, it seemed endless. Time travel became possible, but only for short bursts of time, and with few options. He needed an anchor, something already unstuck from time. This was that anchor, and it wasn't the only one of its kind. For now, it's yours, and in time, all will be explained. Intriguing. A single word etched onto the inside of the weapon's casing. Now. Navarro's timeline analysis indicates that the weapon is the fabled Exo Stranger's rifle enhanced at a future point in this continu uh, continuity and then sent back to this present. On Europa. Late Golden Age, deep inside a secret lab. Which window? 3025, Dr. Bray. I thought we'd run out of possibilities there. We had, and then a new one popped up. Austin 1, how is that possible? We don't. No, we don't know. We still don't understand how any of this works. It's highly volatile and uncontrolled. Have we pinpointed the weapon's exact location? More or less, LC-1 is supposed to attempt retrieval tonight. We can't risk the window closing before then. I'll be going this time. The last time those things in the sky almost killed you. And now I know how they work. That's half the battle. The old man gears up and enters a strange metallic pod made from Vex parts. Awesome one stands at a distance from the pod, typing April 10, 3025 into a console. Alright, Dr. Bray. You're a go in 3, 2, 1. A burst of light. An icy wasteland. What stood pristine moments prior is now dark, old, and falling apart as if centuries have passed. Clovis wades through the wet wreckage and comes to a frozen, deserted battlefield littered with human, exo, vex, and alien bodies. He reaches down and brushes snow from one of the alien bodies, lifting one of its many arms. Fascinating. A piercing whir emanates from somewhere in the distance. Clovis looks up and sees a black and red ship floating in the air. It stops above the battlefield and emits a bright red light, scanning the area as if searching for something. Lovis slowly pulls a device from his pocket. He presses a green button and the screen lights up, showing a blinking dot a few yards away. Very close to where the ship itself now searches. He grabs a dead XO and opens a panel on its arm, taking it before closing it with care. He quickly sneaks away and in seconds the XO explodes, drawing the attention of the ship. He sprints across the battlefield towards where he was searching only moments ago. Using his device again, Lovis scans the ground until the blinking light goes solid. He digs into the snow until he hits something. He pulls it up halfway. A rifle, shining like new, etched only with one word. Now. Lovis attempts to fully free the weapon, but it's stuck, attached to something. He pulls harder, revealing an entire dead exo. Hand wrapped tightly around the grip. He takes a good look at its face and gasps. Elizabeth? 
The whirring sound reaches Clovis' ears again, pulling him out of his stupor. The ship heads right towards him. Clovis pries the gun from Elsie's rigid hand and sprints back the way he came, diving into his pod and activating just as the ship fires on him. Burst of light. You could have been killed, says a familiar voice. And said I got you a gift, Elizabeth, Clovis responds, catching his breath and dusting himself off. One down, an infinite number left to go. It better have been worth it. He looks into her eyes and musters a half hard smile. We'll make it so. Intriguing, intriguing, intriguing. All right, well, thanks to the gun. The BT-7707 was prototyped as a weapon to combat the Vex, a portable mass driver capable of firing rounds that moved beyond relati relativistic speeds. I don't know if it was ever completed in the timeline, but a version of it was pulled from another by Clovis during experiments with Vex technology, but it was never completed. The plans exist here, now, and I intend to prevent them from falling into the wrong hands. I need your help to do it. Alright. So I guess that gets you probably a catalyst? Oh, God, shoot in the comp. Armor synthesis introduction. There's another mission over here. All right. Well, it is 2 a.m. <laughs> it's fucking almost 2 a.m. So we're going to go talk to Zavala and then I think call it before we'll end up coming back and doing a few of the available side content. I don't know how much there is for me to do that I want to do. That's something I'll have to look up because I don't really really want to go through absolutely everything uh, before Destiny 2 The Witch Queen comes out. I'm totally fine just being like, oh, this thing exists, and then... Because most of the content's going to be kind of irrelevant when Witch Queen comes out. Every gear that we get in terms of leveling isn't going to matter because we're going to get automatically skipped up to 1350. So what really matters to me are, like, story chunks that I can manage to get without having to grind week after week after week. And then maybe when Witch Queen comes out, we'll, we'll be able to put in a little bit more time into that and actually check out what remains. Aramis is gone. I can't say I agree with your methods, but you did what had to be done. Europa is a treasure trove of Golden Age knowledge. That knowledge, good and bad, belongs to humanity and must remain out of the hands of our enemies. With their kill gone, the fallen will be scattered and disorganized. Frequent targeted strikes will keep them that way. I've made an arrangement with the Awoken. Temporary immunity for barracks while he helps us secure Europa. It doesn't sit right with me after what happened to Cade. But there are greater threats on our doorstep now. I agree. Now that Aramis is defeated, the Vanguard hopes to reclaim Europa for humanity. Zavala asks you, uh, ask for your help in destabilizing what remains of Hal's salvation. He informs you that Varix will help guide you through your first mission, sabotaging a we fallen weapons factor in Europa. Return to Varix on Europa for more details. Well, there you go. All right. We got. One of our first little, mi little side missions to continue on Europa. What does he want? <laughs> what do you What do you want from me? I'm trying to take a break. You want me to pick up another little mission? What do you think? A bunch of guardians storm the sti deep stone crypt, and next thing I know, I wake up in a day sprawled out on the floor. Seems crazy to assume that the two are connected, but then again, Stranger Things and all that, you know. 
Now you walk in here, my insights go haywire all of again. A lot of weird images flashing through my head. Or my mind. Hard to make sense of them all. Vex, a blade, and a few dead exes on Europa, unhappy with their lot in life, I imagine. Not sure what that's about. Maybe see about finding them? Help me make sense of all this? I'll be waiting. Okay. Locate and scan three dead exes in Europa. Looking like some of those flashes are of me trudging through ice and snow, passing bodies of my fellow exos. One of them looked to be surrounded by Vex technology, another amongst the ruins of an old city, and another was surrounded by factory equipment. The rest are a blur. Shame I left them behind. Wish I knew why. But you might figure that out. Well, I need dust light shards and etheric spirals to buy upgrade modules from him. Anything else? We have this bounty. Oh. Salvager Salvo. I think we'll be all right. <laughs> we'll be okay. Focus. All right. Well, time to take a little bit of a break, and then when we come back to Destiny 2, we'll do a little bit more Europa missioning. Oh god, there's still just a little bit more. Defeat Fallen Captain Surrenders on Europa. I'll grab that the next time we're on.